right friends so let's do the practical run of it you basically log into your google adwords account you can ignore this there is some problem with the indian credit cards in google abhi leni hai isko so that's why it is stopping this so you can ignore this warning uh, we'll run the campaign from here uh you need to go to the campaign section and this is where you need to go to the video section so you have to click on that and this stage on to two sections in first section you have to create the campaign basically write down the traits of campaign and then the next section so here you can name Am I audible? I guess not. Just trying to connect, but I don't know what happened. Am I audible to all? muted unmuted am i audible to all uh all right there was some issues which which came in between on this meeting id and all that anyway let's fix now i'm sorry guys all right so uh so we need to go to the google adwords section i'm just doing it again i'm not sure if you would have missed that so a google adwords account uh, can be opened the way you open a gmail account you just 
log into Google AdWords and then you can use it to any of your Gmail account. So whatever ID you're using in a Gmail ID, you can just make your Google AdWords account. And then once you open that, this is how it will look like. You need to go to the campaign section. It will display all the campaign, the search based campaign, the video based campaign, the shopping based campaign, whatever you have done. And uh, you need to go to the campaign section and go to video. Right? Are we clear till here? No problem. All right. Then you can name your campaign. Name anything. Today we are concentrating on D somehow. Uh, all right, Sanjeev is saying once more. See, this is how you do. Uh, for all those who do not have a AdWord account as yet, can just write down Google AdWords. For me, it will open directly actually because I have put it on the remember stage. But once you do that, it will open a Google AdWord login. So it will ask you to log in. You can log in through any of your Gmail account, any of your Google account. So you can use that. Once you log in, you'll come to you'll come to this page. Anyways, even if you come to this page, home page, you can just click on campaigns. So this will be the overall home page or whatever is happening to your campaigns. You'll be this may look a little uh scary right now but it will very easy to read once we cover the google adword section which will be having uh google keyword search as well as the uh this shopping wallet thing you'll be able to read it quite comprehensively so it is very easy to read do not get panic about it anyways you need to go to campaign section and uh, Once you go to the campaign section, go to videos. So Sanjeet, is it clear till here? All right, then you can name your campaign. We are concentrating on T. So let's say my campaign is T selling. I can name anything, anything what I feel like December campaign. So I can name this right using this standard. I'm not using the shopping wall of funda. It is anyway selected into videos. Then you go to the next where you keep your budget. The budget has to be in hundred uh, multiples of hundred. So let's say I keep two hundred rupees, or let's say I keep three hundred rupees. So I can keep anything. Now we haven't discussed the budgeting part as such, uh, but if anybody want do have any queries of how the budgeting comes into the picture of marketing. Can just let me know. Sandeep says no idea. All right. Uh, Ashlata, you want me to spend some time on what budgeting part? All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, all right. See. Uh, it basically starts with the brand and now this may look a little theoretical right now and it will not have a definite answer. So at the end of the day, you will not have ki yaar, is cheez ke mujhe do so rakne hai, do raat rakne hai, do karod rakne hai. Ho nahi, jo bhi main but you will get the way of thinking about it and the answer lies with on the situation you have in hand. Uh, but I'm discussing how, of how to go about it, how to go about it is objective of any manager any manager including digital marketing manager and more so for a marketing manager is in one line is who is a manager the one who makes profit for the brand that is a manager so whatever you do at the end of the day you need to create a profit out of it 
and that is what everybody expects out of you onto the top management and even if you are a top management so board of directors will be expecting if board of directors and customer the stakeholders will be expecting if you are a stakeholder then the society at large will be expecting so it's a vicious circle so in whatever hierarchy you are into the brand into the company your objective is to give profit and especially if you are a marketing manager because it directly relates to the job now in order to have that you need to understand that the first objective is not the budget the first objective is not the profit the first objective which comes into is revenue us revenue mein se fir kharche nikalte hain so this is how a normal business happens i'm sorry it may out sound a little theoretical but if you give me 5 minutes you'll understand the basic rule mood i'm trying to suggest which is in order to have if i'm a new business what is my revenue target if i'm an old business what is my revenue target the revenue target is different for the same kind of property because my expenses differs so if i'm starting a new product name me any brand of which you guys are interested so that will it will help you so we'll take that as an example for illustration name me any any not a particular established brand but any product category which are interested let's say shoe so let's say i'm a new e-commerce based uh shoe seller and i have let's say a marketplace what is a marketplace we have discussed anyways in the last uh, and to uh, try to relate it with mobile i'll try to put mobile also in the example so i'm taking shoe primarily but will also take few instances of mobile in between uh, so let's say i'm a shoe based e-commerce site and in my e-commerce site mobile also sell so i'm a shoe seller as well as a mobile seller now what happens is if i'm if i'm starting i have a very bootstrapped company i have lesser monies with them uh, with me but i've decided yaar meko ye target lena hai meko ab market mein bechna hai taki main ek acha profit wahan se kama pau in order to do that my initial target becomes anything which is over my cost so that i break even as early as possible maine jo kharcha kara hai mere possible kharche kaun kaun se honge usme main website banaunga website to free mein bhi banti hai aise aur aapko i think sabko milegi bhi ek website so e-commerce website ka aapko pata karna hai then aapka kitna usko infrastructure let's call it an infrastructure to put an it infrastructure your cost is this much to put a mobile app your cost is this much then in order to run the my uh, marketplace you are asking different sellers to come on board and list their products and suppose you have kept one guy in the office who do a entry or recheck the entry what vendors have done so you need to put an human resource you also need to put somebody who could approach different sellers as a marketer as a telemarketer or whatever uh, on the commission and all that so you have a few list of costing with you so initial target to start a new brand your target becomes ki mere cost aa rahi hai let's say per month and you have an office you have an uh, laptop and all that and electricity spent and all that to working capital ki list aap bana lete ho aapko pata chal jata hai ki mere ko har mahine let's say i'm spending 60 70 or 1000 rupees a month i'm just taking hypothetical figures over here so in order to get 1 60 70000 mera target ban jata hai ki main kam se kam jo hai pehle ye 60 70000 rupees nikalu aur जब मैं शू बेचूंगा और मैं मार्केट प्लेस हूँ और हर शू बेचने में मेरे को 10 परसेंट मिलते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल क्योंकि सेलर 90 परसेंट ले जाएगा उसमें से उसका खर्चा है मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ शू एंड ऑल दैट और मुझ मैं 10 परसेंट कमाऊंगा जिसमें से मेरे क्या खर्चे हैं लॉजिस्टिक का खर्चा है जो पहुंच रहा है मेरा खर्चा है उस ब्रांडिंग का जो मैं प्रमोट करूंगा और इस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर का जो भी हमने डिस्कस करा है रेंट एंड ऑल दैट सो आई नो दैट आई नीड टू डू अ सेलिंग ऑफ लेट से फिफ्टी लैक्स ताकि मैं उसका टेन परसेंट सॉरी फाइव लैक्स ताकि मैं उसका टेन परसेंट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ये कवर कर सकूं बाकी मेरे लॉजिस्टिक के ऑपरेशन खर्चे हैं तो आपको लगा कि यार मैं लाख रुपए मेरा एक बॉटम लाइन होना चाहिए तो लाख रुपए कम से कम आना चाहिए तो इसका मतलब दस लाख रुपए की सेल करनी है एंड टिकट प्राइस ऑफ ए शू इज लेट से टू थाउजेंड रुपीज सो दैट वेज यू डिवाइड दिस नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स आई हैव टू सेल नाउ कम्स दी मार्केटिंग पार्ट where you say that in order to uh, to sell out 10 lakh rupee worth of thing out of which 2000 is there so i think 500 shoes ho gaya na 500 pair of shoes 
सो इन ऑर्डर टू सेल 500 पेयर ऑफ शू दैट इज माय बॉटम लाइन इससे कम करूंगा तो लॉस में जाऊंगा एंड आई वुड नॉट बी एबल टू अफोर्ड इट फॉर लॉन्ग सो माय आईडिया बिकम्स कि मेरे को अब 2000 यूनिट बेचने हैं सॉरी uh, 500 यूनिट्स पर मंथ बेचने हैं विच तो मेरे को क्या क्या वो करना पड़ेगा एंड आई हैव अल्टीमेटली केम डाउन टू अ डिसीजन दैट आई नीड टू स्पेंड मनी ऑन ऑनलाइन मार्केटिंग और मैं ऑनलाइन को ही करूंगा अब आप उसमें से बजट बनाओगे कि इन ऑर्डर टू सेल दो नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स हाउ मच यू कैन स्पेंड यू कैन नॉट से दैट आई स्पेंड फिफ्टी लैख रुपीज अफकोर्स इट डजन मेक सेंस बिकॉज योर रेवेन्यू टारगेट इज नथिंग लेस देन टेन लैख रुपीज सो आइडियली हाउ कंपनी डज इज फॉर एनी एस्टेब्लिश कंपनी इन ऑर्डर टू रिसीव हंड्रेड रुपीज एज रेवेन्यू स्पेंड सिक्स टू एट रुपीज एज ए मार्केटिंग बजट ओवरऑल मार्केटिंग it can be online it can be offline it can be anything for a starting brand it becomes 25 30% kyunki starting mein promote zyada karna padta hai awareness zyada phailani padti hai but jo established brand ho jate hain unka jo hai wo 6 to 8% pe aa jata hai in a single digit yes 6 to 10% of revenue or whatever sale you are doing so you spend around 6% on that you spend around 30 40% on operations you spend about 20% on working capital and remaining uh, thing so ultimately you are left with a 10% of profits to 20% of profits isi ke beech mein ek established bandwidth chalta hai zyada tar b2c products ka so in order to have 1 lakh rupee and uh, let's say my revenue my uh, budget becomes 1 lakh rupee ki 10 lakh rupee ka lana hai 1 lakh rupee kharcha karunga तो so, ये भी मेरे कॉस्ट में ऐड होते जा रहे सो टेन परसेंट बिकम्स माय मार्केटिंग बजट फॉर स्टार्टअप यस इन सर्टेन केसेस सी इट इज वे यू लुक बिकॉज इन द फर्स्ट मंथ यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू अचीव दो टेन लैक्स हासिल होता राइट सो यू मेक इट अर टारगेट दैट यू अर्न अराउंड टेन लैख रुपी पर मंथ और एन एवरेज एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर and in order to achieve that end of the year may you will be in order to have that you start spending more of what your revenue target is at the end of one year or 18th month aur usko aap first month ka target le lete ho this is the ideal way of going about it so in it automatically comes three times or five times of what your ideal budget should be and ideal budget should not be more than 10% this is my belief once you are once your brand is running because if if your end objective is to give profit to the shareholder if you're going to spend more than 10% ideally you will be not be able to make profits out of it kyunki aapke baki kharche hi itne honge aapko koi cheez ko produce karna hai aap us pe kharcha karoge aap capital pe kharcha karoge aap human resource mein kharcha karoge aap apni salary justify karoge aap sab kuch karoge at the end of the day if you're going to spend more than 10 12% then you will not be spent left with it but agar aap 10% spend karte hain ek startup brand ke liye jiska pehle hi total budget itna kam ho jayega to aap bahut kam spend kar paoge so it will be a waste so that is why for startups it sometimes go to 30% and there are a few businesses which can foresee 5 years down the line 10 years down the line aur wo bahut spend karte hain which cannot be regarded into percentage like for example how olx must have been spending in the starting customer acquisition ke liye you may not know it sometimes you spend 400% of your revenue budget snapdeal was spending at a one point of time four times 4 rupees to earn a revenue of 1 rupee and this is on books they have not disclosed it but this is on papers so sometimes in order to get 10 lakh rupees you spend 40 lakh rupees i don't know how they convince their shareholders but they had so this is what i'm saying you may not have a fixed answer to how much how much it is spent but soon the stage will come when shareholders will uh and to this uh, the question which you have put can be discussed from uh, nikhil batla so you can just contact the organizer he may be able to help you out on that anyways uh, so that is what I'm, i was answering so in startup sometimes become 30 40% so you decide for yourself what is fixed best for your product what is your scenario how much are your expenses what is your objective to achieve but i'm just giving you the glimpse of how to do about it how to make the calculation right so this is the standard uh 
Hachalata has put a question that what determines the all right and it's okay and what determines the adjustment of budget the real actual scenario of, uh, of how you are achieving your objective agar aapka sale bahut kam ja raha hai lekin aapka ek tool bahut kaam kar raha hai for example aapko lagta hai ki mere ko youtube promote karne se mere ko bahut farak pad raha hai lekin mere facebook promotion mein simultaneously campaign run kar raha hu i'm just taking an hypothetical example over here that i'm i'm getting a good result not the optimum but i'm getting a good result uh, with let's say youtube promotions uh, with the uh, on the campaign but youtube zyada effective ho raha hai aur mere ko email marketing se koi response nahi aa raha mere ko aur kisi channel se koi response nahi aa raha and this is the tool which is working for me so you adjust your budget और यूट्यूब इफ कम्स आउट टू बी एक्सपेंसिव तो आपको लगता है कि यार मैं वन लाख रुपए का बजट बनाया था लेकिन मुझे रिस्पांस अच्छा आ रहा है एंड आई कैन टेक द रिस्क एंड यू कन्वेंसली टीम एंड यू से कि मुझे दो लाख रुपए दो और मैं सारा का सारा यूट्यूब करूंगा दिस कैन बी वन ऑफ द केस सो दिस इज हाउ यू डेटरमाइंस यू कीप एन एक्चुअल चेक ऑफ योर प्लान विद द एक्चुअल रिजल्ट एंड दिस इज हाउ यू डेटरमाइन दी बजट सो एज अ मार्केटर यू विल बी गिवन एन एक्स अमाउंट लेट्स ए टेन परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल बजट और उस टोटल बजट से एक एस्टेब्लिश ब्रांड के लिए फर्दर डिवाइड होता है नए ब्रांड ज्यादातर डिजिटल ओरिएंटेड ब्रांड्स जो हैं ई कॉमर्स ओरिएंटेड वो ज्यादातर ऑनलाइन प्रमोशन करते हैं और फिर जब वो स्वेल हो जाता है तब वो ऑफलाइन में आते हैं लाइक टीवी प्रिंट एंड ऑल दैट लेकिन अभी मैं आपसे नॉर्मल डिस्कशन कर रहा हूँ उसमें जो भी एक एस्टेब्लिश ब्रांड है हाउ दे डू इस आउट ऑफ दैट हंड्रेड परसेंट दिस स्पेंड अराउंड थर्टी फोर्टी परसेंट ऑन टीवी दे स्पेंड अराउंड थर्टी परसेंट ऑन प्रिंट दे स्पेंड टेन परसेंट ऑन बी टी एल एंड आउटडोर एक्टिविटीज एंड इवेंट्स एंड ऑल दैट and the remaining 5 to 8 to 10% they used to spend on digital but now the the latest report which has come 3 days ago the uh, in india the average spend for an advertiser on uh, online has come to 13% so an average company is spending 13% on digital marketing out of that 10% of the revenue so 10 lakh rupees mein se 1 lakh rupees tha total marketing ka एक लाख रुपए में जस्ट एक हाइपोथेटिकल एग्जांपल ले रहा हूँ ये सब यहाँ पे फिगर आपने थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज स्पेंड कर दिए टीवी में थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज स्पेंड कर दिए प्रिंट में थर्टीन फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज आप डिजिटल में स्पेंड कर रहे हो टेन फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड आप और बीटीएल एंड उस सब में स्पेंड कर रहे हो सो दिस इज हाउ यू मेक अ टोटल बजट सो एट एंड ऑफ द डे यू गोन गेट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर एन एस्टेब्लिश ब्रांड टू वर्क अगर मैं नाइकी हूं ना लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई मैं नाइकी आम दी I'm, मैं शू बना रहा हूं तो आइडली आई विल गेट टेन टेन फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल बजट मार्केटिंग बजट फॉर द डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एंड व्हाट इज द टोटल बजट अनदर एनीथिंग बिटवीन सिक्स टू टेन परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल सेल्स रेवेन्यू सो दिस इज हाउ यू गेट इफ रेवेन्यू इफ नाइकी फ्रॉम अ गिवन स्टोर वॉन्ट्स टू सेल टेन लैख रुपी और लेट्स टू लैख लेट्स वन लैख रुपी फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वन लैख भी नहीं जैसे थ्री लाख रुपी बिकॉज प्रैक्टिकली डेली के स्टोर से एक्सपेक्टेशन होगा तीन लाख रुपए ऑन एन एवरेज सेल नाइकी का एक्सपेक्टेशन होगा पर डे का सो इफ माई पर डे इज थ्री लाख रुपी का सेलिंग एक्सपेक्टेड आउट ऑफ नाइकी स्टोर अराउंड टू टू थ्री लाख रुपीज तो मेरा मार्केटिंग बजट भी जो है वो टू लाख रुपी पर डे दैट मीन सिक्सटी लाख रुपीज अ मंथ और सिक्सटी लाख रुपी इन टू कितना हो गया सिक्सटी का टेन परसेंट हो गया सिक्स लाख रुपी और सिक्स लाख का अनदर वन सिक्सटी कर लो आप तो वन लाख रुपी आपको पर मंथ का नाइकी का प्रमोशन बजट मिलेगा इन ऑर्डर टू मेक अ सेल फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर स्टोर एंड वंस यू सम ऑफ ऑल दी स्टोर तो वो दिल्ली का एरिया निकल आएगा फिर दैन इंडिया का निकल आएगा आर वी क्लियर अबाउट इट ऑफ हाउ दी स्टोर और आपको उस बजट में से देन यू हैव टू डिवाइड कि आपको यूट्यूब में कितना स्पेंड करना है या फेसबुक में कितना स्पेंड करना है डिजिटल uh, मार्केटिंग में बेसिकली कितना स्पेंड करना है दे आर फ्यू टूल्स विच आर विच कम रिलेटिवली वेरी वेरी इन एक्सपेंसिव टू बाय आउट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल ई मेल ई मेल बहुत उसको प्रैक्टिकली रन करना बहुत चीपर है लेकिन इन ऑर्डर टू हैव a good in, a database a long run campaign you need to spend a little more on human resource and all that so another uh, this section so 
दिस इज ऑल योर डिवाइड की मेरे को ई मेल पे कितना कर रहा है मेरे को आई टी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बनाने में विच इज माई वेबसाइट एंड मोबाइल ऐप एंड ऑल दैट उसके लिए मुझे कितना स्पेंड करना है मुझे फेसबुक में कितना स्पेंड करना है यूट्यूब में कितना स्पेंड करना है और जो रिजल्ट मुझे बेटर कर रहा होगा हिट एंड ट्राई में मैं उसको कीप करूंगा बाकी को आई रिटेस्ट आर वी क्लियर ऑन दिस और इट वॉज लिटल कंफ्यूजिंग मुकेश प्रीति श्रवण anyways we have spent too much time on this and this is how if you determine the kimera day budget kitna hona chahiye it it has it is in, involving a little mathematics into it but this is how you and then you determine that and then you choose your locations all right uh, before that there are uh, options which are already checked on networks youtube search youtube videos your video partners what is youtube search This is YouTube search. We have opened one. Let's say I search for this. When I go to YouTube as a normal uh, user viewer, I just go to YouTube and I write whatever I want to search for a particular video I want to surf for a particular genre, and I write let's say comedy club. And you could see over here, or uh, the the top two are the ads. It has come prompt me to click over here. Now these are this YouTube search ads. All right. The same way a keyword search happens. And once I start this, I'm sorry. Uh, this hasn't come as uh, the ad doesn't come onto it. Suppose the ad would have come, then that becomes a YouTube video ad, which we are running right now. Anyways, we'll run the YouTube search wala also. All right. Include video partners again through AdSense. If if you have a site which which have an option of displaying a video ad, so you can just go with that. So your ad will also be shown to video partner ads. And if in case you don't want that your ads should only limit to YouTube, then you can just uncheck that. All right. Then you choose locations. All India territories, India or whatever you want to choose. You can also choose particular cities. For example, you want to choose New Delhi, or you want to choose another city outside India. You can choose that. So whatever cities you want to choose, you can choose that. Let's say you want to choose this one, Bakersfield, Monia. You can choose any city, right? So it. it will also give you a little uh, idea about the possible reach it will have this is the wholesome reach i mean these are the users who regularly access youtube from that city all right and then you go to languages which is english devices and all that are we clear till hill till here and then i'll move towards advanced settings and all that. Yes, Ashalata Priti Hasan. Can we also know how many people have seen? Yes, of course. Once we run the campaign, it comes onto the dashboard, and there you could see how many people have seen the ad, how many have clicked on the ad, and landed to the landing page which are given on the ad. So you can give the landing page of your website, your online business, where you want people to view it. So if it's a particular offer, you can create a landing page for that. If it's a general promotion, you can land. Them to the home page, so we'll get to know everything. How many of them have seen? All right, all right. Then you go of putting up a schedule. Uh, putting schedule helps you out. It is not that I, if I need to run a campaign right now, I have to do. For example, I want to run a campaign on 25th of December on a Christmas day. So I can choose that. I can choose the end date also. i want to run a one week campaign so okay and date it will also allow, uh, it only allow you to choose once you have chosen this uh, once the start date has come as a current date so only after coming on 25th you will be able to choose the end date but this is how we can do it right uh then add scheduling this is 
personally a, of a very great great interest to me because if i run a campaign i will like to run it very rationally and not very hit and trial basis so i really want to give it a thought of if my product is of particular category or a particular brand then what can be the possible day and time it will help so just to give a little glimpse uh, just make what is your view for an e-commerce site like snapdeal amazon the marketplace is cited uh, when the what is the time they should promote and what is the time the maximum purchases happens so if they're displaying any offer or anything as a campaign when they should do in a day and time which day they, they should choose let's make it interactive let's arshan ashala ta asan please uh, reply relatively faster uh, because we have very less time left with us what do you think uh, would would it be a monday tuesday wednesday weekends weekdays for e-commerce what days make sense and what time makes sense prithi says uh, weekends are we uh, are we agreeing with prithi that for an e-commerce right and it says saturday yes weekend you are saying few more answers everybody is on concentrating on saturdays but the stats shows that the maximum purchase on e-commerce happens on weekdays and not weekends uh all right i may have a couple answered in any of time before uh, but yes the maximum thing happens on weekdays and that too on on lunch hours anything between 10 to 4 6 because that is the time people work that they're in the office or whatever their student or whatever and that is the time where they where they out they have the product or the laptop or their mobile in hand a little free and they like to surf and purchase not on the weekend they're occupied somewhere else with their you know other works of hanging out and all that uh, or shopping in whatever it is so the maximum purchases on e-commerce is happening on weekdays that to between 10 10:30 11 to 4 5 right so as an advertiser i will not say that i would not advertise on weekends i i may choose weekend over weekdays but we should know the rationale behind it so uh, and we should also study various reports who help us out in choosing that so if i am a new e-commerce based thing my first objective is sales i mean of course it is brand communication brand equity brand awareness but at the end of the day the whatever money for my new startup comes will be of great help so i may go with week uh, weekdays and that too in afternoon uh ashala is running all time okay Yeah, see, I'm saying there are no fixed answers into it. Why there are no fixed answers, uh, uh, Asha? Because yes, we have chosen. I think yes, like Shubham is saying, it depends on objective. We have kept the daily budget. Let's say I want to run a one-week campaign and put, or let's say I want to run a ten-day campaign. And my total budget for YouTube, I parked it as let's say fifty thousand. So my daily budget comes out to be five thousand on an average. So I write down five thousand in the figure over there as a daily budget. And this is how I can do. And I can run a ten day campaign. I can choose over dates from here, start date and end date for those ten days I want to run a campaign. Because all the activities in marketing are interrelated. We are starting in different modules, but once you try to run a full fledged campaign, you'll understand. that email is linked with youtube youtube is linked with facebook promotions facebook promotion is linked with any activity press conference you are doing in for your brand so these sub activities aapas mein linked hoti hain uh for example last time we have taken an example of a movie release ka so my all activities will be if, if i'm running a full fledged campaign including emails youtube and everything so email ka importance ticket bhejne ka aayega do din pehle लेकिन YouTube का इंपॉर्टेंस आएगा एक हफ्ता पहले लेकिन जो मैंने डेट चूज करा है उस पर डिपेंडेंट होगा मैं ईमेल कब चूज करूंगा उस पर डिपेंडेंट होगा मैं फेसबुक कब चूज करूंगा सो एट द द एंड ऑफ डे ऑल दीज आर इंटर रिलेटेड एंड दिस इज हाउ यू आल्सो चूज योर बजट 
तो यूट्यूब आपने जितना करा है आप उसको डेली के हिसाब से डिवाइड कर दीजिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूर कैपरेटर टेन डे कैंपेन तो आप उसके हिसाब से कर दो इफ एट फाइव डे कैंपेन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड योर डेली बजट कम्स टू बी टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड यू कैन चेंज इट एनी टाइम सो देर इज नो वरीज इट्स नॉट दैट यू हैव टू डू इट इनिशियली यू कैन मेक एनी चेंज एनी टाइम तो आप ड्यूरिंग द कैंपेन भी बजट को ऊपर नीचे कर सकते हैं और डेट्स को भी चेंज कर सकते हैं एंड मोस्टली पीपल रन ऑल टाइम आई फॉर्म माई न्यू स्टार्टअप वन ऑफ द न्यू स्टार्टअप विच आई हैव वन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स वुमनिया डॉट कॉम फॉर दैट आई आई डू आई एम कैप्टेड ऑन अ डेली थिंग सो उसको मैं ऑल टाइम ही रखा हुआ है अभी सो इट डिपेंड्स ऑफ हाउ यू गेटिंग द रिजल्ट एंड देन यू टू वी गेट बट कुछ ऐसे ब्रांड्स हैं जो कि आपको बोलते हैं प्रोडक्ट्स हैं विच पुशेज यू नॉट टू डू इट डेली टाइम वट कैन बी दोज ब्रांड्स जो ड्यूरिंग दी आर ऑफ द डे भी रिफ्लेक्ट करते हैं लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर आर फ्यू प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरीज विच विच आर मोस्ट सुटेबल एंड नॉट सुटेबल फॉर दी अदर हाफ ऑफ द डे कैन यू जस्ट नेम वन सच कैटेगरी कि मॉर्निंग में बहुत अफेक्टिव है इवनिंग में बिल्कुल नहीं है लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल लिकर राइट स्पिरिट ब्रांड्स सो इफ आई गेट टू सी आई लॉग इन टू माई ऑफिस वर्क एट नाइन थर्टी एंड आई गेट टू सी अ लिकर एड इन दी स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द डे आई मे नॉट लाइक इट यार मेरे को मूड ही नहीं करेगा मुझे मजा ही नहीं आएगा उसको देखने का तो आई वुल नॉट अप्रिशिएट दैट टू लुक ऑन टू दी लिकर बिकॉज जैसे आप एड देखते हो आप कंजम्पन आपके दिमाग में घूमने लगता है उसका सो यू मे नॉट लाइक इट बट इन द इवनिंग आई एल प्रेफर इट राधर एल एंजॉय इट Google Analytics, uh, John. Uh, I'm not very sure because Google Analytics will only give you a reflection of uh, of your website. So, your website, what movements are there? It will tell you. But you will be able to see how many of them clicked on YouTube and landed on uh, this. Uh, how many of them clicked on YouTube and landed on this? On your website, this you will be able to access on Google Analytics. बट जो इंटरनल प्रोफाइलिंग होगी और डिटेल प्रोफाइलिंग होगी फॉर दिस कैंपेन यूल ओनली बी एबल टू चेक ऑन दी यूट्यूब पैनल ठीक राइट एनी वेज लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट टू मच टाइम ओवर हेयर इन दिस सेक्शन एंड देन यू गो टू एड लिमिट्स दिस यू कैन चूज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लिमिट योर कैंपेन to that many impressions and all that but in the starting i would suggest not to use it related be for optimum views and let the the very 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 optimal algorithms of gmail work for you content exclusion now this is the new section which they brought in earlier there was a section where you can choose the particular url and you can copy paste the url as the host for a thing but they have removed it and they have come out with this new section uh, which i'm not sure how to uh, all right all right so this is how they allow these are the various sections where they are they allow you to choose the category of product like for example if i want i want all the content or i want specific contents like for example mine is a uh let's say a teenage oriented product so i can select this if a mine is an old age product then i can select this and all that so this is how i can do that so this is uh john and everybody else uh, i need to this section is very very new and i haven't explored it so uh, i need to learn it a bit and then i'll let you know in any other session of how to use this particular section so let us keep it keep it on a hold as of now uh, this was a recently added section and need to explore it a bit and then i'll be able to let you know so i'll learn it i'll educate myself on to this and then i'll let you know right on this particular section so let's keep it on all content right now and 
move ahead all right i have been asked a question campaign on night is effective if your product is like that uh i'm sorry to use this name but uh, forgive me for using this uh but i guess all of us are adults so if you are is intimate intimate oriented product so night makes sense for you to advertise so there are right so this depends on what you are offering like action let's move next ad group you can name whatever ad group is existing and then you can press seen ads the ones yes uh, for all all those ads uh, whose duration is less than 10, 30 seconds less than 30 seconds there youtube doesn't give an option of skipping so if your ad length is less than 30 second video length which you have put as commercial is less than 30 second then that the skip option will not come if it is more than 30 seconds then it will come all right you may inquire why it is so we can discuss on that if in case you want to discuss clear till here then this you do not choose it that you want to allow this skip or not it is pure simple if your total length i'll once we'll upload the length i'll let you know like for example now i'm coming to the next session this will be automatically answered john what you are asking just wait for a minute uh, you go to the video section you have now to upload that video that commercial which you want to run it as commercial right and first you have to upload in a youtube it goes with the normal youtube uploading so you have uploaded a video on the youtube you have copied the url from here and you can paste it as soon as you paste it the video will come over here it will pick up from the uh, youtube database and it will show it here uh, this particular video which i have chosen it's not a commercial it is just a normal forwarding video out of whatsapp so this is only for the only for for the illustration over here right and then you can choose your commercial and you can put it over here now comes the main part i according to me the best part uh here you have to choose which format you want we have discussed two three formats right uh yes ashala you need to first upload it on the youtube and then you have to copy paste it over here size format do's and don'ts uh, john uh, again if your objective is you do not want a full emotional story to be told then keep it less uh, the ideal is to keep it less this is my understanding it should be 10 second 15 second nobody wants to see it for 30 second there the basic idea is to look on to the video with their uh, served it not the your ad so keep it as less as possible but sometimes you need a little time to tell the story to tell the commercial and uh, if you do it less than uh, 30 seconds then anyways people are forced to see it uh, but uh, if you are keeping it 10 second it can be very very less so kai bar aap bata hi nahi pate aap batana kya ja rahe ho side mein so it depends on what what campaign you have made if it's an offer based site keep it for 10 seconds 10 second mein offer batana bahut aasan hai 10 second mein naye brand ko koi story batana bahut mushkil hai so sometimes you have to go 15 20 or seconds but try to not to touch close to 30 seconds all right this is long one sir fit some new product 
keep it Do not keep it more than 30. All right. Uh, so in stream is running that in stream ad, that video ad. And if you choose display ad format, then there are four sub formats into it, which is this is this is how which which we have checked on the earlier example that once somebody searches for something over here it will come on the top so here you write for example you write headline as let's say best women women shopping for example right description one you put something best apparels <coughs> the best clothing shoes i'm just taking hypothetical example over here and then you choose it and this is how so you can see over here it is coming as this so once your ad will be displayed it will be displayed like this and so somebody clicks on to that will land up to your ad or you want related videos so if I search for comic videos you'll see on the right hand side there are other suggestions which come so it will be like that YouTube overlay is over here there is there will not be a full-fledged 30 second or 10 second or 20 second uh, but John I'll answer you that first I'll complete this section and so <clears throat> there is another video which is coming and your will be displayed like this a link if somebody clicks onto that, will land up to your uh, your commercial onto your channel which you have uploaded. So your channel page, you can create a channel. You can go to YouTube and you can create your channel. So let's say for example, my, my product is Nike, so I can create a Nike channel. My product is Womania, I can create a Womania channel. You can create your own channel if. You can create an Ashalata channel for yourself. So it will be your channel. It's like your account. So whatever videos you upload into that channel, you can just check it out over there. Right? So that is channel page. So every brand is its channel page. And th this is where you can see all their commercials and all their videos and all their product oriented videos. If they are not commercial, their review videos, their testimonials. So they keep everything video rented on their channel. Right? All right. So you can choose this. Or let's say if you want to choose in stream ad. And you have to write down the display URL which will be displayed over here. So let's say and this this will be the exact page where you want to do let's say for example you have an e-commerce site where there are multiple products there are shoes there are multiple categories shoes garments jewelry and all that and your promotion is only limited to shoes it's a shoe based ad so you can choose a url you can promote a particular product you can promote a particular shoe so you can promote a buying page you can promote it as a landing page so let's say for example i am keeping womania.com as, as a landing page and i'm Keeping here, it will come as the final URL and all that. All right. So you just keep that, and then you put a click per view uh, price. So you can also limit it. The suggestion which is making is one to four rupees. If I'm very aggressive towards promotion, which I feel. Uh, <coughs> that brand was jo humne check kara tha, that brand must have been aggressive wo hamesha bidding value zyada rakhta hoga so for example we are aggressive we want everybody who, to see it 
so we can keep it let's say on the higher side of it on the suggested price we are keeping on a higher side if you want it average you can keep it average if you want it low it's you'll get to know the idea once you run the campaigns if you start running campaigns you'll get the idea of what budget suits best right so you can see over here that once you do that it also gives you a predictive view of how many views will happen if in case you put this kind of uh, budget into it then there is one popular video adjustment price what is that let's say for example i have kept it as 2.5 for example so what is happening if somebody bids for 2.65 my competitor bid is of 2.65 i i will be rejected for that so what i'm asking the machine i'm saying them that whatever percentage i write over here i'm saying mere bidding mein 10% ki aur adjustment kar lena if in case i i'm getting a bid which is very closer to my bid then you are allowed i am allowing you to have a sanction of 10% of whatever percentage i have put it over here upar niche more or less up 10% usko kar sakte ho so if some if my competition bid is putting 2.65 i am allowed to go to 2.75 because i'm i've allowed 25 paisa more 10% more uh, as a pop adjustment towards the popular sanction are we clear till here i'm sorry guys this session will be extended for another 10 15 minutes i hope none of you have a problem with that Priti has asked a question. No, if someone bid more than my bid, my ad won't show on YouTube. Your ad will be shown on the case when it is. See, the at the background, the thing is not happening one on one. It is happening multiple times. So for particular section, there will be various uh, uh, bidding happening for that instant. So for automatic bidding, which is happening at the background at exactly 22 30 hours. for that domain you may lose it but the exact real time uh, functioning which is happening at the background at 22 31 you will win it if you are you are having a higher bid and try and understand another thing google at the end of the day will earn the revenue once you have the viewing and spends so their algorithm is like that that you will also keep on winning it you will not keep on losing it right so this is happening quite fast quite uh on a real time basis so it is not that you will lose it you may have a little slow response but you will get the idea of how how much or sometime you are getting a good response at 2 rupee bidding out of that 1 to 5 rupee bracket so there is no point of doing it for 5 rupee because our ultimate target is in the given budget i'm taking the hypothetical example over here we have kept only 300 rupees we have kept and we possibly will get 100 to 200 views uh, so if my objective is to get 100 views and i'm okay with that if i get 100 to 200 views then i can wait for a day there is no and if my campaign is running all time day then why should i bid higher let me bid lower because then it gives you a chance of crossing even 200 to be mark or 200 wala mark so then you will be able to reach twice a number of people than you would be able uh, to reach in if you bid higher so it is better to go with low bids at the starting especially if your view target is also lower if your view target is way high and then you are kept it low then you will be rejected on more number of time than you will be accepted so you will not be able to achieve your view target if my view target over here is let's say 50000 views a day of for that campaigning for that budget daily budget then i'll try to bid it very high 
then my daily budget will also be on that decimal but i'll try to get it high uh, all right there are a few questions which are completely are you satisfied with the answer then i'll also move in simultaneously to the next question sanjeet uh, you need to once you log into the google adwords there are various sections which are there uh, there will be a billing section into your account uh, like over here uh, once you view where is the billing section Once you log into the account, I have to search it down a bit. But once you log into the account, there is a billing section, and in the billing section, you have to put down the details of your credit card beforehand. Uh, and uh, once you get that, you will get the permission of running a campaign. And once you run the campaign, the uh, the bill will automatically be raised and mailed to onto your email ID, and simultaneously the amount will be deducted from your credit card. This is how the payment has been made. Does Google assign quality score for your? Yes, they. Yes, they have uh, started doing that. So they have the quality score. All right. Uh, then you choose the gender. for the campaign uh, for the whole not the bidding rate uh, how, what it happens is you are run the campaign and in the campaign they suggest you a quality score for that so if you are how your campaign is running what changes you should make will be able to make out of the campaign score we'll see it we'll see it afterwards of how to comprehend the quality score right okay then you go with demographies and you choose like for example if i'm promoting women here i'll not like the male to say it will be a waste so i'll only choose female i'll remove male and some some industry whatever brand you're promoting you can choose gender you can choose the age group no point in promoting more than 45 to all if my product is let's say a general product and if a product is old age diapers then there is no point in promoting 18 to 24 25 34 44 in fact till 54 you may start with 55 and above and in certain cases you may start with 65 also so this is how you do that parental status suppose my product is only children oriented product a cartoon based product and all that so and i want parent to say it to in order to make our purchase so i'll go with parent uh but if you go with parent you are sacrificing children so you have to make your own call of what end product you have right so there are few products which are education based for to for uh you know age group of toddlers from 0 to 4 so they give you monthly uh, you need to subscribe it and they monthly deliver the kits the uh, game oriented and education oriented kit one at once a month so if that is the product children are not interested in viewing it but their parents are so you choose a parent for that in this section so this depends right then you say done then you get into interest and then you choose it if your understanding is that my product will be more suitable to fashionista as i can choose that foodies and all that then choose that and you can just whatever product you will choose you will see that it it will go to the right hand side so if i choose foodies it has come on to the right hand side so you have choosing the interest page over here and based on that your target will be filtered down automatically so you can choose multiple over here i'm choosing one but you can choose multiple over here and then you say done and then acha this is the section i was talking about placements So you go to placement and you copy paste the end URL where you want your ad. Like for example, uh, I want MTV Odies. So for example, this. Or let's take another example. 
let's have a women oriented product like and this is a new series of which only one episode have come this one i share right So this series basically have uh, this series is more suitable for fashion oriented products that to women oriented. So if my product is fashion orient, women fashion oriented product. So uh, let's say I'm selling lipsticks or anything like that so i want the viewers over here to come and look onto my ad like me promoting it and all that so what i can do is for all those viewers over here i can go over here and copy paste the url so my chances of coming onto this particular video becomes higher over there so you can choose the exact placements as well so for all those who are surfing this video which has been served by which has been viewed by 464,000 people so far which is a good number I can choose that right everybody uh, okay with that And then I say save group. And then you finish it. Right now it has, uh, it must have gone into the review stage. So it will be reviewed and automatically it, it will start running. So this is the post it start running. You could see how many views you are getting on particular date in the graph format as well as over here. So these are the impressions which are made. Impression is how many uh, total view it was displayed to how many of them has actually watched it what is the view rate view rate as in the percentage uh, and then the average click per view price which you have paid for it and if you try to read it a bit you will try to understand that it will give you a great insight of what is happening in the video Yes, we can, uh, Ashrata. Uh, it doesn't come into the curriculum. Uh, the curriculum is to let you know how it goes. But uh, we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it on some other day. Uh, why don't let us do it? One thing, no. Uh, I guess you must either have got it or must be getting your free website, which uh, all the subscribed members. So for that, run a run a campaign. Run a like. I've asked you to run a uh, email campaign, run a YouTube based campaign as well, but try to make a small commercial out of your own video. I mean, kisi ko bhi khada karke chota sa dry run video bana lena, koi bhi ek ad bana lena, 10 seconds ki. Do not use the other videos, normal videos like I have used, uh, because once it do, once you do that, it'll be dismissed by uh, YouTube or Google because it doesn't come into Google licensing policy. So it has to be your own creation. Make a very dummy kind of ad for 10 seconds and make a YouTube channel uh, for a particular brand 
use your website uh, to have the to put the you know destination final destination url uh, link over there and run a dry campaign run a campaign for two days spend around 50 100 rupees over there uh, i mean you can't spend 100 uh, you have to spend at least 100 rupees a day so spend uh, 100 rupee for that or 200 rupees run a campaign see reviews and i'll take the live example of of whatever you guys have done and then we'll analyze it right run it for few days at least two three days and if it's something related to your own product i mean that's a cherry on the cake because you'll get to see the real and we'll have 10 15 people to analyze it including myself we'll have a great result out of it. yeah so everybody understood till here i mean this how to put up an ad and once you do that and see your ad running on a particular video you have chosen or in anywhere else, you'll be very, very delighted to do that. Right. And that is the reason I've kept it in the starting of the course rather than on the end. Once you see your own video commercial running, you'll, you'll just be delighted to see that. Because that is how everybody in the audience is going to view it. Right. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, any questions please do ask questions which are related to the subject or else uh, I'll be really really happy let's keep it for a few more minutes I'll ask you to be patient for five more minutes why not uh, Ashan All right, uh, friends, any question? All right, uh, for all of you, um, and this is for your own benefit, as I would suggest you not to skip this. Please, uh, this is the feedback form link. Please fill this. And all of you, please fill this as well as fill, this, fill with your comments. It, it will be a great help. And last session, I've got the reviews and help me out in shaping this session as well. Sure, Ento, uh, the link which I forwarded to you, this is the link to check out the video. Uh, so you'll get, you, you can check it out on this link. You'll get to see this session for today. Anyways, please use, uh, Ento, please fill the feedback form, Arshan, Asharlalta. Durgesh, Kamal, Mukesh, Preeti, Sanjeev, Shubham, and Shravan. All of you, please. And once you're done with the feedback, just write down done. Do write the comments as well. Thanks, Sanjeet. Anyway, Sanjeet, how did you enjoy it? Did you find it helpful? And to try it, you will get it. I won't let you go, man. You had to fill it. <laughs> I shall let that done. Thanks. Good night. For all those who are done, just can fill the form and go. Yes, Preeti, it's so easy and that is why I want it to be in the starting of the course because looking into it, the ad coming, we find it here, it's difficult to do big brands, how do we do it and all that. It's not so difficult and 
for any digital marketer it will be a great delight to see it that is why i have kept it should i go in no durgesh do not worry uh, about it digital marketing will help you to not only clear your vision it will help you out in your whatever company you will be working in uh, i tell you one basic thing even if you are working on to your engineering oriented product making product development or whatever thing you are working for your company if you are working in sales in any way help but if you are working for technical part also understanding marketing aspect will help you especially digital marketing which is not very expensive to learn and not very difficult to learn uh, like i've said in the first in today's introduction the first line the objective of any manager is to make profit out of the brand so the more you learn the better it is so don't get confused about it it's not a big sum of money i know uh, and if you can afford it just go with it it will help you out all the time do you guys know dr cv raman learned try to learn or probably would have uh, learned neurosurgery at an age of 60 and at an age of 60 learning neurosurgery was a curiosity it was not only a career building hill and that is why he was what he was right and in any ways uh, this will help you out in your career as well so makes sense oh man there are good quotes coming knowledge is the teacher very good yes knowledge is the teacher actually i'm sorry i'm just keeping it little lighter by discussing this right so don't get offended out of it uh Shavan has done. Archana is saying guidance helps. Yes, and that is the reason, friends. I do not want to keep it only a tool learning session, and uh, I want to. Of course, tool learning is important, and that is why we are learning it. Uh, but at the same time, I really want to discuss topics in depth and in periphery as well. Uh, once you start running full fledged campaign for your brands of your own brand or working as a manager or helping out a friend or whatever you'll see that this will be great helpful of discussing whatever we are discussing right all right durgesh kamal please uh, fill your this also feedback form pretty okay done good night my friends so all of you have filled that can can leave so on to uh, my know what is the topic yes the last time the topic what discuss was email marketing and uh, i'm sorry i have been informed that if i can help you guys to start a little learning yes priti good night see ya see ya next week good night mukesh uh shravan and for all those who have joined for the first time uh yeah good night rachan i was asked to cover the last topic uh, a little to come out a little early and you know give you an introduction on that uh, but i'm so sorry my car broke down i was traveling uh, from out of town i wasn't able to reach on time uh, so it's up to you you wanted to discuss it right now or we can just because the topic which i discussed last time was email marketing 
and it was it has no link with whatsoever with what what we have discussed today so we can cover the topic a little early next time you can log in uh, a little early next time let's say let's start at 8 o'clock or 7:45 and then i'll make sure that everything in email marketing gets to you right night and to uh, are you done uh, archan you saying good night i guess archan you must have filled the form right durgesh good night kamal has already filled it Arjun done with the uh, feedback form. And to Durgesh Kamal and Shravan, are you guys filled with have filled your feedback form? Yeah, Arjun, please do it. Yeah, I'm I'm saying that. but we share the link you can check it out and fill the form please it will take no more than 1 or 2 minutes so kamal how did you enjoy it especially the topic youtube promotions next time we will be covering facebook so we'll try to cover social media one we'll try to cover we have covered youtube anyways and even marketing so these are the upfront active you know it's like a soldier placing a bullet on a stain gun so that is why i really want to cover it in this one John says I'm working as medical transcriptionist and looking for a career change. Will you post on Pinterest? But yes, yes. Especially if you are looking to go with any brand, be it related to medical or otherwise, as a digital marketer, because there is huge demand, huge demand of digital marketers. There are new, new and small and big players which are coming for online. Like for example, I tell you, I have for for new startups into my startup as well as. my peer group startups we require digital marketers to run the show at the background so people are required in digital marketing and if you learn this tool will will help you out thank you durgesh and thank you arshan email marketing is not taught by manjeet in the class uh this is a different online batch so i'm not sure about manjeet's batch <clears throat> come on uh so you are from uh, this ramesh nagar wala batch come on so is your course complete i mean uh, probably this email marketing manjeet may have been covering it right okay all right if not kamal have you covered my email marketing uh, the last session which i have covered have you done that good night good night shravan yeah have you covered the last session which i have taught no it's okay uh, i'm saying have you covered the last session no na uh, all right then <clears throat> i'll 
and anyways have uh, our shravan and the no it's okay it's okay uh, durgesh good night kamal have anyways our shravan to be on my uh, this on the next session for all those who haven't covered the first session the email marketing can start we can start a little early let's say 7:45 we i'll uh, confirm with the admin and we'll start a little early next time so you can join little early we'll cover email marketing aspect on that front and even if then you will left with some queries we can cover any time so don't worry about that yes yes why not uh, just give me a call after 5 10 minutes uh, i'll finish it off with this and then we can go anyways everybody has left give me 5 minutes uh, kamal uh, and then you can call me yeah चलो देन आई एम लॉगिंग ऑफ द सेशन गुड नाइट